back again. Um, it was requested on one of my previous videos to do a favourite drugstore tag and I thought, you know, why not? Um, why not let people know the great products that I find um, from the drugstore? You know, not everyone has a large budget to spend on makeup and I find myself gravitating towards the drugstore end as opposed to the high end which I would have done previously um, as soon as a new collection came out of MAC I would have walked to the counter the day that it came out on my lunch and just went and spent an absolute fortune on makeup, lipsticks, everything, blushers, you name it I bought it but now I have found that there are some great alternatives out there that are just as good quality at a fraction of the cost so when you do that it means you can buy more <laughs> it makes sense so if you guys want to see my favorite pieces and what I recommend so if you guys want to see my favorite pieces and what I recommend then stay tuned okay so I have a lot of stuff and I'm sure you guys know uh, I've picked out some of my best bits now this isn't the only things that I like I like a hell of a lot more I've just tried to incorporate a few bits and pieces from different aspects there's a few blushers a few powders things like that so starting off is this bronzer and it is by NYC and it is big bold you can see it it is like a great bronze terracotta color the payout is amazing as you, you can see how dark it is against my peel skin I don't have any fake tan on at the moment um, but this is great the only thing you have to be careful with this is if you have too much on your brush and you put it on your face you can end up looking dirty but I mean other than that it's a great product and so many people love the NYC bronzers so that's great and this one is Metropolitan is this so up next is my L'Oreal Nude Magic BB powder you guys will have seen me use this um, quite a lot recently um, I do love it I think it is great this shade is um, medium medium skin tone this is great for sealing your foundation also because it's a BB cream I feel like it gives you another layer when you want like a full coverage face which is great for me especially if we're going to work because I don't touch my makeup during the day so I may not always get a chance to so that gives you a great face up next is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder and this is in Silky Beige there you go, I'm starting to hit pan a bit in the middle um, this is another great one this is good, the shade anyway for me is good during the winter um, I think it kind of gives you a flawless complexion but it is a bit light so I would use this during the winter up next is the MUA Cosmetics and it's Undress Your Skin in the Shimmer Highlighter there is no shade for this it, there's only one so it is great um, there was a pattern originally on it and it did look very like some MAC products which I thought was kind of a spoof but that's okay because I don't mind and if you can see it on my finger there it is so shimmery and the colour payoff is fantastic especially for only the likes of three pounds you know it is a fraction of the cost compared to other high-end ones and you can see it is so shimmery and so pigmented it really is a great buy so up next is foundations and one that I really do love is the L'Oreal True Match foundation this one is in golden sand and this is great Um, I do love this but I do find that I maybe don't get as long uh, aware out of it as I see some other girls who swear by it I think it might be because I have oily skin that it 
my makeup kind of slides um, and there's no matter how many primers or what primer I use underneath whether it's high-end drugstore it just doesn't last but it's okay because I can retouch up during the day so that's fine but for the likes of eight pound you know you, you can't really go wrong up next is the NYC Skin Skin Matching Illuminizer. So this is it. Um, this is great. I would use this as a primer underneath my foundation. And this is it here. I actually wear it underneath my foundation on nights out. It just gives your face this real... Like, woof, like a real juice, like a real sparkliness underneath. If sparkliness, is that even a word? Um, yeah, it's great underneath and it just kind of, the sparkle kind of radiates underneath your foundation. I mean, you can put it on top of your foundation if you wish. But it says here, um, a little, 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 contains a vitamin cocktail that helps smooth and moisturize the skin immediately and all day long and light reflecting pearls to make it luminous which is kind of what you want you want your face to go anyway next up is the miss sporty so matte perfect stay foundation uh this is good that i would wear this if i'm in a rush and i'm going somewhere where i don't need uh too much makeup this is it here you can see it's a lot darker than the Illuminizer, but it's okay. I would use this if I'm going out with just minimal makeup, um, not too much on, maybe just um, the Stay Matte Foundation, bit of mascara, touch blusher, lip gloss, out the door. And um, that is if I'm in a rush and I'm not going anywhere important. Um, you know, if I'm just maybe running to the shop quickly. Um, but I don't want to go out without any makeup on because you don't want to be giving kids nightmares. Standard. Okay, so next up is blusher. Um, I wasn't going to consider them because there's no store or, or shop near me that I can buy them. Um, the nearest store is in Cardiff, so that's a bit of a jaunt for a blusher, but because they're so cheap and you can buy them online, I, I thought I might as well consider them. So this one is in Superstar, and I wear this one quite regularly, and I just, a little goes a long way. You can see here, a little goes a very, very long way. But it is so pigmented, it is so beautiful. Um, I just put a tiniest little bit on with a stippling brush and then I build a colour if I need to. I actually put quite a bit out there, so that's why my hand looks a mess. So that's that. Um, next up is another item from MUA Cosmetics. Um, this is a powder blush and it is in the colour Lolly. And with these, the colour's very, very pigmented, which is great. This is a point. So you can't go wrong with a blusher for a point. I have quite a few shades, um, but I like that one. Uh, next up is a cream blusher. Um, I think, again, this is a point or maybe two point. I mean, it's not going to break the bank. The only problem is, um, I know with me anyway, um, just because they're a pound doesn't mean that you need to own every single colour. That's me. I'm like, need the whole range, need every colour. Ah, buy them all, buy them all, buy them all. <sighs> so this one is in Yummy. And as you can see, it is yummy. Like, it's so nice. Look at that. Like, why, why do you not want this in your life? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um... So this is another great buy. I mean, if you were making up a kit for the first time, you know, these, these are perfect. I mean, there's so many colours and so many shades that would look great on most skin tones. And the fact that MUA Cosmetics have seals quite regularly, you could buy things for next to nothing. 
and that's that's what generally what I do that that's that would be how I operate so moving on next items I have are these little um instant radiance instant radiance shimmer touch and they are by Rimmel and they are from the wake me up collection so I did have the wake me up foundation and it says oh put it on your face you won't look so tired you'll look great no I didn't I looked so tired all the time it didn't help so I completely ditched that foundation and moved on to something else but I got these little bad boys and they are great little um liquid highlighters so this one is radiant rose and the next one is shimmering sand I'll just swatch these I actually bought these in the point shop yeah so there they are they're great now I've put a lot of the product on my hand there so they'll come out for you obviously you won't be putting as much as that on but I think they're great I mean I wouldn't have paid the four five I mean these are great I mean I, I put quite a lot on my hand there to swatch them so you guys can see them and you know they are quite nice and they do brighten up your face but I wouldn't have paid the three four maybe five pound for them each no way Um, I bought them in the pound shop that's as much as I would have spent on them they're nice but I wouldn't have spent anymore. Next up is, I don't know what to touch next. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of organize everything by type for you. So it's kind of easier. Okay, so next up is concealer. These are from the Collection Cosmetics. And these are the long lasting think I don't know as you can see there's no writing on the balls anymore because that's how much I use them and they are long lasting concealers and I have them in two shades this is light and this is fair and these are fantastic the coverage on these two are immense you know and they're not that expensive so is it here Take a look at that I use these every day for going to work um you know they're so good I mean look at the price like you can't fault them um especially when you have good products and you maybe don't want to use them on a day-to-day -day basis because they're so expensive so like for example if you're spending 20 pound on a concealer um you maybe don't want to use it every day um especially if you know like you don't have that much money and you, you've kind of pushed the boat out to buy a concealer and it's great and it does the job and you look phenomenal but it kind of is, it's going to go quickly on you and you might not have the money to replace it straight away so I swear by these on a daily basis and I love them so bye 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 next up is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this shade is shade 30 okay you guys have seen me use this in a previous video this is great for contouring just kind of the zones well this is where I contour anyway because of my face shape and just blend it out with a brush this is great like you can't beat it I really 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 want the fit me pan stick so I can contour in the shade coconut but for some unknown reason Maybelline haven't released that shade here I've looked everywhere I've looked in boots I've looked in Superdrug I've looked online it just doesn't come so I'm gonna have to buy it on eBay and get it shipped over from America but this is great this you know you go into Superdrug and you go into boots and they always have three for two offers on Maybelline so that's how I ended up buying this I bought the concealer shade for me the foundation and then this one as well for contouring so next up is eyeshadows well not eyeshadows per se they are eyeshadow sticks and um, they are just like NYX jumbo pencils but they are nowhere near the cost and um, this one is from MUA cosmetics and the shade is bring it back so 
This is a great brown, if I can find somewhere to do this. This is great, and um, it's especially good if you are in a rush. Just put it on your eyelids, base colour, eyeshadow on top of it, blend it out, you're good to go. Um, other ones that I've bought are from Collection Cosmetics, and I've got three of them. The first one is this really nice beige, and it is Vanilla Sky. And it kind of reminded me of the Jumbo Pencil from Nick NYX in Milk, but only not as dark white. So it's quite nice just here if you can see it down past my watch. Um, this one you can see that I use quite a lot. And it is Hot Chocolate. I use that one an awful lot. And it's here. And then lastly I have Vintage Blush. And it's this really nice pink. Which has a great shimmer to it. Okay, so let's talk about lips. First up is Sleek Makeup and it is their glossed lip gloss. Now, it doesn't actually tell you the shade on this, but I think it is Whisper. And it is such a nice, soft pink. Anytime I wear it, I always get complimented on it. Um, it's such a great buy and it's only like three, maybe four pound. Which is good. The only problem I have with this is you can't buy Sleek Cosmetics in Superdrug anymore. And I'm actually quite pissed about it. Because I could go in and, and pick things up whenever I wanted them. Because they've pulled them out of the stores, I have to buy them online. And if you've seen my Sleek review down below, I haven't had the best of time with them recently. So Next up is these two lip glosses by Revlon. Um, some of their shades are fantastic and so are their lipsticks. These are just two that I have bought uh, before Christmas and the colours have just really stuck out in my mind. I do wear them quite a lot. The first one here, let me see. So what The writing at the bottom is so dark see there, that I can't actually make it out. But it is this gorgeous purple with glitter and it has like even though it is purple, it ha kind of has like a red undertone. Which is cool with me because I love purple and red lips. And the next one is, so, this one is sunbaked. And it is this really lush nude. So this is sunbaked and this is the one that I can't read the name of. And this is the sleek one at the top. And I, I really like this one, Sunbaked. I wear I would wear that on a daily basis. So next up is lipsticks. So I've got these two little bad boys here from MUA Cosmetics. Uh, the first one is called Juicy. And you can see it is quite bright. And that's it here. It is a great shade. Perfect for the summertime. So I'm going to be all over this. And the next one is from MUA Cosmetics Matte Collection. And this one is Scarlet Siren. And I can get the lipstick out. This is it here. It's quite nice. When you look at the red, you think that it's going to be quite dark. But it's not. It's kind of a... I think it has a bit of a pink tone to it. But that's fine. Um, I don't really like matte lipsticks. I usually put a gloss on over the top. I just, just kind of like the feel. I, I that's, it just makes me feel like my lips are constantly dry and that I need to put some sort of lip balm on them. But that's me. That's okay. These these are a pound. You cannot go wrong with one pound lipsticks. Okay. So next is the Maybelline Color Sensation lipsticks. And I have quite a few of these, but these are just happen to be two of my favourite shades. And they are Neon Red. I love this. Um, I wore this to my friend's wedding during the summer. And it was so nice. Here's it here. It is quite bright and it does look a bit orangey, but that's fine. Cool with me. And the next one is Hot Plum, which I love and I do wear quite a lot. You can see the lipstick starting to take shape of my lips because I do work that so often. And this is it here. 
so bright. And I bought them last year and I'm really looking forward to the weather starting to pick up again and I can wear them. Um, I have been wearing them anyway, even though the weather has been rubbish. But sometimes I think it's a bit out of place when it's raining and I'm walk rocking up with this big fuchsia lip going, look at me, yeah, bright lips. So yeah. Up next is eyeliners. The first one I've got here is the Smolder Coal by Soap and Glory. And I've included this because you can just buy it in boots. Here it is so dark, it is so pigmented, it is lush to use, um, it is great for blending out under your eyes, so I do really like it. And a staple favourite of a lot of beauty bloggers, YouTubers, people on Instagram, everything, is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. Now, I love this. I was actually in the pound shop last week and I saw this eyeliner for a pound. So you know I bought some. There you go. Like it's so dark. I mean like the liquid eyeliner and the cold pencil are almost equally as dark. Um, I think the liquid's a, a smidge darker but can't beat it. So then next up is mascara. Now I love mascara and I love anything that will make your eyes just go I look massive because I love having big open eyes, big long eyelashes to make any camel jealous. I know that sounds a bit weird but in the Middle East they have, I think it's Dubai, actually Dubai or somewhere like that, they have beauty competitions for camels and there's the award for the camel with the best eyelashes and their eyelashes are like so that is what I want. I want eyelashes like a camel. Weirdo, I know. So what I do love is this L'Oreal Palace. Palace, oh my god, what the fuck's wrong with you? L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Extra Black. And this is in carbon black. So I do love this. You've seen me use it quite a lot. Um a lot of YouTubers love it. And there's a reason why, it's just great. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, you would be hard pushed to find another mascara as good as this in the drugstore, I think, because a lot of mascaras that are actually better than this are high end. Um, so you know that's how it is. I would sometimes, well, actually quite a lot of the time, I would buy things in the drugstore to save a bit of money, and then spend that wee bit extra on a mascara for the likes of a. Dior show or YSL or something from MAC which is probably three times the price as this one. And another mascara that I love is the Rimmel Lash Extender Endless which has Grow Lash Complex and Fibres in the mascara. Now I like this however I do not like it for my top lashes I only like it for the bottom. You can see the brush there. I don't think it kind of gets in there enough to open my eyes out, but that's okay. The brush is so small and petite, you can kind of get into the bottom and give it a wee wiggle and be like, Whoop! to open your eyes up. I don't know why I just made that noise. Lastly is this brush. It is by e.l.f. and it is the powder brush. And you can see the top of it is flat and it is great for going... into your face to set your foundation. It is great and again you can buy it in the shop but you can order it online and it is $3.75. You can't go wrong with a great powder brush at $3.75. So that's it from me. I've been talking for long enough and bending your ear. So guys, thank you for watching and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's anything that you would like to see, by all means, leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.